What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen. You guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I seriously appreciate you. Before we jump into today's expo, which is going to be a really cool one, I say that, I have to check the elevator to see <laughs> to see what, what we're looking at today. But in here, there's merch, right? Crusader, uh, Origin, all sorts of cool merch. And then, if we come over here, we have MISC. There's nothing here, but check this out. <laughs> really cool so the best part about these they're not 820 credits per item i don't know link in the description do with it what you will <laughs> all right so moving on shameless shameless plug goodish how dare you speaking of dare let's just dare to fly let's come in here in the elevators in these 26 gigabyte elevators i never noticed that before really funny and see what today's expo is going to be all about i'm really excited for crusader it's been so cool already every single one of these has been incredible let's see what what days today we did aegis yesterday uh if my calculations are correct it's still this date oh okay so we have a a aopoa okay banu oh these are the oh we've got the hold on what sorry Whipping your mouse around again. Apex Hall. It's the alien ships today, you guys. Ooh, that's so fun. Now, we just checked out the Asperia Blade on the channel. I just did a tour on that. Go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Really cool little ship. And honestly, I don't know how many different ships they're going to be in the alien uh, genre. Manufacturers. Okay, so you guys were also saying, goodish, do your thing, man. And I'm going to. We're going to watch this, okay? I know that they're on Star Citizen's YouTube channel, but we're going to watch them here. <gasps> Look at that. Dude, is that a beak? Oh, oh, that's the, uh, the Talon? Oh, dude. Oh, look at this ship in the background. I love the lasers. Ooh, oh, the Prowler. Yeah, the Prowler and the Talon are pretty similar. The Talon's a ship, right? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Dude. It's like archaeology. What'd you find? <gasps> Alien tech? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The cube? Uh oh. Don't don't pick things up. Big boulders will just come out of the wall behind you. You know the you know the drill. Jackpot. Jackpot. <gasps> Ooh, ooh. That looked like a uh, beetle. Or a moth. Nice! Ooh! I was just about to leave. <laughs> Dude, these are sick, aren't they? Okay, so this is where we came in at. Okay, so the beak. The beak is real with this one. Ah, oh, that is so cool, you guys. Thank you for, uh... Thanks for watching that with me. Alright, so these, commonplace, uh, Sail of the Stars, yeah, so the same thing here. Let's just head on up. I, uh, after last night's video, or yesterday's video, um... <laughs> I came back up here, because I left, right? And I was like, bye, everybody. And I came back in to rent the Reclaimer, which is now... I guess it's on the other floor. I witnessed someone running up this ramp, fell flat on their face, and it just sank down into the floor. Really funny. I mean, not really. I witnessed a, a death, but... <gasps> Ooh, these are cool. Oh, that's that one. Asperia. I don't know what all alien I've seen just yet. Uh, historical reference. Let's listen to this real so the quick. The expo attracts the latest innovations and technological wonders. Esperia is constantly paving the way forward with their reverence of the past. 
preserving important historical craft and Xeno vehicles, Esperia defines space flight in entirely new ways by providing unique experiences that would otherwise be unavailable to modern okay. pilots. Okay. Awesome. I was not paying attention. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that. This looks like the same thing here. You guys are telling me, and uh, you guys are so cool, too. Everyone was saying, do your thing, read everything, watch everything, listen to everything. You guys can just skip around what you don't want to see. So uh, that was kind of refreshing to hear. I think we've looked at that. Uh, no burritos today. We're just going to jump into this. Probably a little shorter episode because I don't know how many alien ships there are. Now, just out of curiosity, you guys, did they change out the guns or do all guns? Or are they just universal in the universe? Ooh. Pyroburst scatter gun. What a name. <laughs> I don't know if there's alien... I mean, I know there are alien guns because we just looked at the uh, the blade in a previous video and it definitely alien technology there. These guns... Oh. There are alien guns. Oh, oh, look at all the sizes. We need to look at this. Dude. And does it tell me... I guess if I click on it and buy it, it'll tell me what size it is, right? Size 6. Goodness gracious. Size 6? What what ship would this go on? For alien technology. This one is... A size 5, so my assumption is in size 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yeah. Really cool, though. Huh. So it kind of like, looks like just the same gun, just scaled, right? I mean, that's probably exactly what it is. But then we got to come over here and check out components, too. Yeah, hall 2 and 3 is closed. Uh, try not to whip my mouse around still. Expo or not, I'm really trying to be better at that with all my videos. Uh, hall 3 is closed. Mm -mm -mm. I even put some mouse smoothing on just for you guys so we can walk around. Borrowed freely? Let's... It's not uncommon for human manufacturers to offer unique features and designs oh. to make their ships stand out from the crowd. But the Banu take a slightly Banu. different approach when it comes to crafting their vehicles. Heavily and freely borrowing from each other and even other species, Banu ships are made by combining the best features and best technology they can get their hands on. Neat. Uh, so I realized going through and editing my videos, I've been missing these, right? Like we've just been blowing past those because of all these epic ships. I want to come back and check those out real quick. I just want to come over here and see if this is a different manufacturer. They look different. Uh, it was Asperia on the other wall. So this one is, oh, it's Asperia as well. It's just a different gun. Ooh, nice. All right, so let's start with these ships. Uh, these are really, really cool, especially this one, this gold. Dude, it's incredible, isn't it? That's the uh, that's the blade we just looked at, I think. We're still going to check it out with you guys. Um, also, I did create the uh, ship's tour uh, playlist on my channel now, so uh, I'm trying to make it easier for you guys to find those. So streams are in their own playlist. Gameplay, it almost looks like a face, doesn't it, right there? The eyes and the nose and the big open mouth. Oh, that's menacing looking. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, it should be easier for you guys to find content. And I can even break it down even more. My gosh. Dude, oh, look at these little screens right here. Close the doors. The stairs? Oh, we completely missed the stairs because I was self selflessly promoting my playlists. Look at these stairs! So this is alien technology, but it's very insect-like, isn't it? Like, these are wings, right? That's what it reminds me of anyway. Okay, we're going to check out the outside of this as well. And on the inside, it's like you're inside... Oh, this Dude, this commodity price alert. I should probably turn alerts off. But uh, I'm, uh, I keep getting some some uh, messages popping up. People want to come over and say hi. So sit. Oh, these are the beds. Oh, so bed on that side as well. 
All right, so what do we got here then? Oh. Oh. Hold on, you guys hear that? Listen, listen. Go ahead and close. Ooh, listen to it. Ooh, it's very organic, fleshy sounding kind of, isn't it? Look at this. Same steps. Ooh. Oh, nice. So let's uh power on. Okay. Definitely a human voice. Look at these. These MFDs, if that's what they are, it is, right? Ooh, totally different. I want to rent some of these. I, I need to look at this one. The uh, the blade over there, the interior was really cool, but it was just two little MFDs and like a joystick. This is a joystick, but it, there's a lot more going on. And, oh, it has another cockpit. Dude, is that... Is that just textured glass, or is it actually... Oh, this is really sweet. Is it like a shield that's closed? Oh, there's a cool looking shit behind us, isn't it? I think it's just textured glass. This is cool. I love that there's an interior. We don't just jump into the cockpit. Speaking of cockpit... Hold on, animation. Come on, bruh. All right, look at the window. Beautiful. Oh, I love... I love that it's, like, asymmetrical, right? It's not like everything is centered and lined perfectly. It's kind of off a little bit. Ooh. Wow. This... This almost looks like organic matter, doesn't it? Almost like a bone. Ooh, that's kind of trippy. Very, very cool. Now, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it's just that side, and this is a co-pilot, right? Or they're just like, you can pilot whatever side you want to pilot. Enter seat. So it's probably, I mean, it looks like the same thing, right? Yeah, same thing. Okay, well, I got to rent this because we need to take it out and look at it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Very, very cool. Landing gear is cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, I'm wearing my uh, my uh, what is it? IAE twenty nine fifty one merch today because I didn't know what today was gonna be. Honestly, I didn't look at the uh, elevator. <laughs> oh, it looks like my face is working. Nice. All right, <laughs> dude, this is loud. Uh oh, God, that's so cool. Oh, sorry, that is so cool, isn't it? I get the the, the Talon. And the Prowler confused. Is a Talon even a ship? I think it is. I don't think I'm making that up. We're going to have to find it. This is the Blade, a light fighter. We just looked at this one. This one looks a little bit different than the one I toured? Question mark? Does it? I don't know. Hold on. No, I guess it's the same. <laughs> I see things. And, uh, it's not always... Oh, oh. There you go. It's not always obvious to me. Sometimes you guys are like, dude, sometimes your comments are like, no, duh. They're so obvious, and I'm like... I mean, not always to me. <laughs> yeah, so we've been in this one already. Really cool. It's a cool ship, isn't it? Mm, 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 mm. Very nice. So we toured that one. Go check out the playlist. It's in there. Wow, whoa, that just spit me out. He's like, get out of here. Uh, okay, yeah, so we looked at that. You guys can pause that. We, uh, this. Oh, here we go. Here's something we haven't seen yet. Xeon ships are becoming a more common sight across the UEE. But it wasn't too long ago that their sale was completely forbidden by the Xeon Emperor. Now, thanks to a growing trade between our two species, Xi'an manufacturers like Gatak and Apoa are producing vehicles specifically for humans to pilot. Even more promising, some new ships have been designed for human and Xi'an crew to serve alongside each other. Ooh, cool. 
Uh, very cool. There, there's actually lore, which I love. Dude, look at these. What is that one back there? Ooh. Let's start over here on this side. Um, a Aopoa. Aopoa? I'm gonna say that wrong. What is this? Is this called like the mosquito? Dude, look at this thing. It's um, it's the little glare. The Kartu All oh, Light Fighter. It's a Xion. Okay. You guys can pause that and read that. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know if there's anything else here, you guys. I mean, I, I'm not complaining. This is... This is incredible. This is like the alien version of... Just with a side window here. Alien version of the Aurora. Ooh! Oh, did you guys see that? A floating stair. Hold on. We're gonna... Uh, I want to try things a little bit differently in, in this one. Um, it just... I mean, look at the stairs! Okay, hold on. Let's enjoy this cockpit here look at this view so i said i want to try things a little bit differently i think on these little fighters where we can uh we can just jump right into the cockpit i think we can actually open the cockpit without getting in so we can see the animation dude this is so cool is this a screen this is a screen power off oh it's already powered on someone's been in here oh i love these little symbols got our turn signals <laughs> I love this this is so cool you guys it's like a it's almost like a, uh, a little ninja bike right but I don't, I don't know I don't know it's very very interesting it has guns right there probably the guns are gonna point forward unless we uh, raise the landing gear which I can't do speaking of landing gear let's jump out real quick they look like uh, Looks insect, doesn't it? Oh, see these stairs. Hold on, hold on. Oh! It comes out of this door. That is incredible. Uh, yeah, the, these little insect legs. Very, very cool. That's a thruster if I've ever seen one. It almost looks like this one is made from uh, carbon fiber, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and get around this side here. Nice. That is super sporty, isn't it? Huh. And all of a sudden, I just forgot all my controls. There we go. Okay. <laughs> There's thrusters on the back. It's got a little tail back here. It actually has branding on it, so the aliens are branding their stuff. Very, very cool. Now, it did say the, 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 uh, hold on. The Xi'an? Is that, is that what they're saying? Uh, let's see, export model. Yeah, modified for human use in more limited armament. Okay, so, yeah. So they are manufacturing for humans too, so I guess that would be... That kind of makes sense, right? That is a cool little ship! Let's make our way down this way. Um, let's take a detour of that. That is a cool looking ship right there. Let's come over here real quick, I'm just gonna sprint too. Can you guys believe the... I mean, look at this right now. How many ships are in here? One, two, three, four, five, like five, six-ish ships in here, and it, and it was the Reclaimer previously. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Aegis. Okay, so it is just components over here. Ramp. Nice. I haven't actually taken the time to look at all of these. I don't think I'm going to, just because I don't... I mean, I personally don't care that much. Um, the XL1 is like the, uh, the QT. Many of the vehicles on display at this year's but she's telling us we can rent the ships. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I always forget about that. The XL1 is like the quantum drive that you really want, right? I mean, I think it's versatile. You can put it on all sorts of different ships. Mm. Look at this guy. This is this is the Talon, right? Right? I'm not making that up. I know there's a Talon in here. The Talon Strike. Yes. Okay, nailed it. Um, let me just read over your shoulder. Very, very cool. 
this is incredible. Look at this. So I've seen this before. Um, someone brought it up, and I'm so sorry. I don't remember who it was. Uh, they brought it up on one of my streams. The prison escape, we were at Grim Hex, and someone showed up in this. Incredible. I love that the, uh, the color kind of changes depending on what angle you're looking at. See, look at that little fin right there. Uh, I say fin. It's not a fin. Right here. It's like purple, green. Beautiful. And the landing gear. Little skis. Very nice. Talon, right? It's like a uh, bird of prey, isn't it? These are feathers. 100%. That's what it reminds me of. And I, I, Obviously, that's what they're going for. Whoa. Those are interesting. I'm going to jump in this cockpit. Oh, look at that. That's right. The wings are like glass. And these little fins sticking out the back. Thrusters. I don't know if... Oh, open. Here's where you can change out your components. Dude, I just stumbled upon that. I had no idea that was a thing. I don't know if that one opens or not. Uh... Very, 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 very cool. Can't, I can't remember what I was going to say. That just blew my mind. <laughs> I know some of these ships, there's external storage. Uh-oh. Looks like maybe we got out of our track right there. Mm, good thing it's just the show model. Oh, I was going to say, I think if we get in here... Let's see. I'm not seeing... actually seeing a ramp. Access. Um... Oh, man, he's going to do it again. You guys were telling me, too, with the Redeemer. I was looking at that. Let's just rent it. That you can enter the ship. You just have to find the sweet spot. Well, I guess I'm not sweet enough to find that spot because, uh, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not even joking you. I tried probably about 30 or 40 times to get into the Redeemer. This one doesn't have... Like a ramp access or ladder access. I guess those don't either. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit more here. I went ahead and rented it, so we're, we're, we will tour this one. Oh, I want to tour all of these. I have so many ship tours to do. It's ridiculous. Uh, so that's, that's the Talon Shrike. Gorgeous ship. This looks like a Talon as well. There's some other components over there. Okay. This one's just the Talon. Oh, that's the Talon Strike. This one's the Talon. This is the plebby, uh, non-color changing when you walk around it. Right? It kind of changes, but it's mostly green. Yeah, I think the other one is a pain. Oh, yeah, this one has green wings, and the other one over there has, like, multicolor. Love it. It's, like, all gradient. So, dude, I wish... I wish I could get in these. All right. Well, we're going to check out the Shrike in another video. Um, Beautiful, beautiful ship. I wish the uh, hitbox for the rent wasn't so big. Maybe even would be really cool is if they had it right here, right? Like an interactive button right here. That's a new technology that they're using on all of these kiosks or displays. Over there, they have a play button on them, right? So why not put a rent button here and then have these interactive? Um, so you can easily access them because I don't I haven't seen any other videos just yet on this I don't know if other people are having issues with it or if it's just my newbery <laughs> that's just like showing more than ever here I am at an expo I'm I'm playing a video game looking at an expo you guys are watching a game video touring part of the game and then get it even more meta than that watching gaming videos inside of a gaming video, which is just incredible. I love that. Yeah, and you guys are also saying you haven't had issues with things rendering in, so I kind of sat 
out there, down there in the lobby for a while before coming up the elevator or even getting on the elevator just to kind of give it enough time to render in. It's just not doing it for me for some reason. This ship... Oh, hold on. We got to check this. This commodity price alert, though. My gosh. This is the Glaive. Esperia. Esperia has some cool-looking ships, doesn't they? Now, I think I heard on this one... Um, I always really hesitate throwing info out there because it's 99% uh, wrong. But this one either is getting a remake, a rework, or it's this is the new remake. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe it wasn't even this ship. <laughs> this is a cool looking ship though, isn't it? Oh, I wish so much I could get in here. Oh. <gasps> oh yes. Oh, look at it. So it's kind of like, so Asperia kind of has this animation getting in. Are we... Okay, there we go. No, 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 we're fine. It just has that, like, jump on the seat. And then it kind of boops you up inside of it, right? This is really cool. Oh, all these ships are so unique. Alien or not? They're so cool, aren't they? Every single ship we've looked at is mind-blowing. They are so... They're so cool. And one of the things I love about this expo, and I'm going to be so sad when this expo is over, you guys. I really am. Uh, one of the things I love most about it is it kind of structures the content for me. <gasps> oh, that was really cool. Right? It's like, here's ships. Here's an expo. Here's new, like, sites. Have fun. And that's one of the things I love about Star Citizen. It lets you play the game how you want to play it. And just walking around and looking at things, that's what I'm best at. And uh, purposely not doing any research so I get, you guys, get my full, like, first reaction to everything. Some people it annoys, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we can't please everybody. Um, I know some people would really like me to be more structured and have more information. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. Those channels are out there. I'm not trying to redo those channels. All those channels, just Google Star Citizen on YouTube and you'll be able to find any videos way better than mine with better content as far as like knowledge base uh, but one of the hardest parts about putting out videos with Star Citizen is sometimes coming up with the content Expo has made it so easy this is really cool okay so we've been looking at the glaive for a little while I, I'm loving the lines on it I love the dull paint right this kind of looks like a blade as well Really, really cool. And I, I was looking at these little... I don't even know what these are. Like CO2 canister boosters? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know they're not that. <laughs> it is cool. It is really cool. And we're not going to rent it right now. Very, very neat. Um, We got the big middle one left. So that's not the Talon. I thought the Talon was like this size. The Talons are smaller. Um, oh, and these lights, too. These are really cool. So it tells you what brand or what manufacturer they are right above there. So Asperia, Asperia, and an Asperia. This is the uh, Aeopoa. You guys, leave me alone. Okay. I know I'm mispronouncing it wrong. This is the Prowler, then, isn't it? The Asperia Prowler, yeah. So this is a dropship. That's right. I've been in this. Uh, was this in my last stream? I've recently been in this. Um, oh man, you guys. Just <laughs> trying to find that sweet spot. Story of my life. Um, yep, alright. We'll just, just go in from, uh, from back here. Isn't this a cool ship? Kind of has the Redeemer... These circles on there remind me of the Redeemer. I'm not sure what they are. Something to do with the shields, I think. I don't know if it's the same technology as what's on the Redeemer or not. I love the backbone up here. A little bit of a spine. The arms, the landing gear. It has kind of the, uh, the, uh, what is it? The, dude, we just looked at it. The Talon. Wings on here. And it is big, right? Because I didn't realize that the, uh, the Prowler was this big. Nice. And it has this really cool... Oh, butt shot. has this really cool animation, too, with the VTOL and the landing. Um, 
very, very, very cool. And it has a little whale tail-ish. Like the uh, Redeemer does. Here's this. Here you are. Are you a reporter? There you are again. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Ooh. Keep clear of landing mechanism. This is epic, you guys, right? Oh, this one we can get to the, the cockpit, I think, from here. Really, really neat. So you can actually board these things. I say board. You just kind of get on them, right? And they, uh... I'll show you. How cool is that? This was in the commercial that we were looking at. Um, I thought... Yeah, we can't see it. Oh, man. I thought the, uh... I thought this would come down. Huh. I guess we just hold on to it. Oh. There we go. Perfect. It's a bunch of that. And then we have weapon racks right here. Uh... Is this an alien bathroom? Oh, exit ship. Open ladder. Oh, that's where that's where it is. That's where we get on. Okay. And this side as well? No. It's just a drop ship, so there's a bunch of seats. I, I mean, not really seats. There's uh, a bunch of... Oh, we just kind of glitched through. You guys, watch this. Watch this. If you haven't seen this yet, check it. Let me finish my, my sentence first. There's a bunch of uh, seats back there to drop ship. Anyway, so let's check this out. Watch. Okay, keep keep watching. <laughs> uh, dude, it's not it's not gonna do it. Oh man, it's. Oh, oh, viewport. Okay, hold on. Oh, remote turret. Nice. All right, and keep watching. <laughs> this thing. Oh, my gosh. Um, This is one of the coolest things ever. Cycle lock, the turret, the viewport. That's open exterior. Man, it's not doing it. Thanks. How cool is that, though? Check out the exterior. Those open. So, um, I guess it has to be engines on for this to work, but these are, like, all individual little shapes, and they all, like, digitally retract to show outside. And I really wish it was doing it. We're going to have to, um... We're just going to have to tour it. We're gonna, I mean, the, the Talon does it as well, I believe. So we'll check it out on that tour. Really, really cool. It looks like a a belly back there, doesn't it? Like the rib cage. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and exit. So we can come down the side. I'm going to leave it open for people. Uh just kidding it's just gonna close up okay so I'm gonna leave this all open so everyone can see it nice guns nice skeleton I love you can see some of the framework right there awesome you guys so I was gonna say it's gonna be a really short video it's actually kind of long for <laughs> for only having like one two three four five six seven I guess there's seven ships now there uh, we have to look see if there's anything downstairs I don't Think, oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till we get down here. I think there's a super duper large ship. I'm just gonna say it. I think is it the Merchant Man? I'm just gonna sound total noob right now. It, uh, it just gonna be back here. So there's no, there's no ground vehicles in the alien technology, right? Oh no, there is. Oh, this looks like Halo and Destiny. What is this? The the Knox. It's racing. Hit the skids with the 2947 Knox. 2947, so it's been out. This, these have been out for a little while then. This speedy and maneuverable open canopy racer from uh, Aopoa is uh, capable of zipping along planet surfaces or deep space. 
Available the first time in human space. Oh, cool. The Nox has been specifically redesigned for human pilots. I love that they do that, right? Like, I love that's how they tie in the lore. So it's alien technology, but the aliens are working with the humans to uh, kind of bring their technology here. So I'm wondering where we can rent these or buy these once the expo is over, because I definitely want to take this out. And it's, it looks like hover technology, right? Dude, there's guns on it. Oh, this thing is sick. Uh, so, I probably can't get on it, can I? It's wanting me to rent the other one over there. Yeah. Oh, enter pilot seat. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, that's epic. That is so cool. We got the little, uh, oh, it's not letting me Z to look around. Okay, fair enough. Or, or look down. Okay, a little readout down there. It has a little windshield. That is so neat. Okay, thank you. It, it wasn't letting me off there for a minute. Oh, nailed it. Uh, yeah, so I'm wondering with hover tech, can this be placed inside of a ship's uh, hangar or cargo area? I wonder. Because uh, even wheeled vehicles, I mean, they don't work at the best of times. So let's come over here. I mean, I'm just going to spoil it. Well, no, we can't spoil anything. <laughs> it's, all, it's all fuzzy. We're just going to look at it. Uh, I always go right. This time, let's go left. Just for whatever reason. You guys were also telling me, and uh, I told you I read my comments. So, <gasps> ooh. You said, why don't you go into third person in these uh, hollow holograph areas? I will, the Raylan, the... Uh, Gat Gatik? Gatak? Gatak? Raylan. Uh, it's a cargo. So its focus is cargo. First, Gatak? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm uh, butchering it. First foray into the human market. The Raylan is an elegant enterprise. Uh, inner, inner species, I said. The little notifications are throwing me off. Vessel perfect for any human machine uh, pilot looking for a safe, reliable solution for commercial grade medium cargo. Prime example of the Sheehan Empire uh, has a uh, trusted house attack. Oh, that's cool with production of its industrial vessels. Look at these. So the scale isn't it isn't the scale. So it's medium cargo is what it said, right? I think <laughs> we literally just read it. So these are not the scale. So these are going to be much larger in person. How cool is that? This has Halo written all over it, right? Yeah, they agree. Really, really cool. Or not even Halo, like Destiny 2 vibes. This one has guns. So this one... Oh, this one does too. Okay, so guns. It, it looks like maybe... They're different. Yeah, they're different. Awesome. So that was the... The Raylan. Wait, was this one the Raylan too? Hold on, you guys. <laughs> yeah, the Raylan. Okay. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Very, very, very cool. I'm just going to sprint through here real quick. Look at this. Has the ceiling always been like this? A little drop ceiling with the with the uh, upper lighting in there? That is cool. I never noticed that before. This one. Is this the... Um... Oh, actually, what is this? Maybe it wasn't the Merchant Man. I was thinking... Oh, yeah. oh it is. It is the Merchant Man. The, the Banu. Banu. Uh, merchant man focuses freight Benu uh, traders are renowned for their merchant prowess arm going to read the other one look at these so these definitely are not the scale because the the merchant man is like incredibly massive right uh space lanes and trading with everyone they meet their sturdy dedicated trading ships have proven themselves a vessel ideally suited to the task and are so and are surprised that they are frequently passed down from generation to generation of Banu. I mean, these things, what, is, what do you think the, the cost is to make these? Like in game, in lore, right? Like, of course they're going to go generation to generation. These things can't just be mass produced on the fly. 
How epic is that? So I'm kind of looking here for... Let's just do this real quick. Let's zoom in. I'm looking for the bridge. Oh, it's not going to let me penetrate the glass there. I wanted to get like all up on it. Oh, look at that. Nope, can't zoom in. The, it looks like there's a big gun on the front of it, doesn't it? This is a cool ship. Such a cool ship. Now, from what I've heard, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm standing in the corner for some reason. Um, these are going to be player-owned, right? I mean, if you're Bill Gates and you can afford it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That is epic. Oh, dude. All they need on the back of this is a bumper sticker. We break for no one. <laughs> so cool. So the, the scale threw me off. And I can't tell if they're different or if they're the same. I think they're the same. It just shows two of them. It'd be cool to have one long one in here. Oh, so cool, you guys. I was talking about something I don't really remember. I'll meet you guys back up there. I think, because I think we saw everything down here. All right, so here we are. Um, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like everything is closed off. It looks like the only thing, the only ships to show were right here in the center. And I'm gonna try one more time. Is it this? Oh, now it's kind of rendered in. Okay, yeah, so here's the Nox right here. Uh, the little hover tech. It's now it's showing the Raylan. And the merchant man. Yeah, so none of these halls are open, which is fine. So we looked at all these, right? We looked at the uh, the blade, the defender, the glaive, the cartu all, the talon sh uh, shrike, and then the talon, and then the prowler. Really, really cool. I thought it was going to be a little bit um, shorter episode today, you guys, but clearly not. All these halls are closed. Components back there. We ch we did check out some components. Um, hmm. yeah. I guess that's gonna do it. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate each one of you guys. Uh, I hope you're having a blast. You guys seem to be having a blast. The uh, the comments have been so positive. You guys are so incredible. Let's grab my screenshot real quick. I just love doing this with you guys. It's so fun. You guys make this more fun than what it would really be. Uh, because this is. You know, my channel, I do this stuff anyway. This is stuff I do on my own, but I just bring you guys along with me. And that's the only agenda for this channel. To uh, keep positivity alive, keep a smile on your face, and just kind of like noob my way through this epic, incredible game. These are incredible. Wow. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I wonder if I can talk to someone that works here, see if we can't. Hold on, let me check. Let me check this real quick. Um, so I was running up the ramp. <laughs> like I've seen so many people do, and I can't get a good shot because I, I apparently, I was nowhere near here. You guys, I was coming up that ramp, and it teleported me at this guy's feet. Uh, ball help. A little help there, bro. All right. Well, maybe someone will come and get me. Oh, you guys check that out. Hold M to activate a reward beacon. Rescue beacon activated. People are going to be like, dude, what? this got to be the goodest gamer right here. Oh, no, it. No, I hit M. I must have bled out. Well, fantastic. I think, uh, let me check this out real quick. If you guys made it this far in the video. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, then, hold on. You guys get to see some stuff here. Did it keep my, my shirt? It did. Okay, so you guys were also telling me, yeah, yeah, no, it did. And the hat? You guys were saying that, uh, what you buy now, yeah, it did. What you buy at the expo now goes into, um, like our hanger, right? Like our account? Dude, I'm so sorry. It, it, Asgard, um, 
There you go. Sorry, Asgard. I sent out the beacon and I died immediately, immediately after. So, yeah, anyway, you guys, <laughs> that's it. We didn't lose it. Uh, we didn't lose our, our shirt and our hat, so fantastic. I love that. Pro tip, there you go. Uh, but now we're on new Babbage. Uh, that's unfortunate. I have to make my way back to the expo. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Really appreciate you guys. Um, and, um, yeah. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far and haven't yet. And it really supports the channel. And thank you everyone for your support on the channel and all these videos. I'm having a blast with you. So, until next time, you guys. This is The Goodish Gamer, signing out.